Hello, 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 everybody. How y'all doing? Hello, everyone. We yep. are coming to you from Paradise. Oh, see, I was about to say we're coming to you. Live. <laughs> well, we're coming to you from Paradise. I like. That. I don't know because when they see the video, it's not going to be live. This is true. This, this is going to be a recording. <laughs> this is true. But we we wanted to we wanted to come and share some some things with you that were on our hearts because. Yeah. We've been we've been noticing um, a trend. Um, we've been noticing a behavior pattern, and our go and our goal is to always just share information, share things that is Holy Spirit led that can hopefully benefit your life if if you take heed to it, as we have taken heed to it. So, with all humility, we share this with you because we think it's important and we think that it would add value to your life. Financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, what else? Uh, yeah, look, in those, in those categories, I think. Um, and, and what we're talking about is essentially putting in more than you can afford to lose. Putting in more than you can afford to lose. You know, Tracy and I, we were we were thinking about um, the, the recent situation with FTX. Uh, for those who may not know, that that was a crypto platform that people put their life savings in and they lost. And, you know, people were doing all sorts of things with the money and things of that nature. And one of the things that Tracy and I have learned in our years of doing business and years of doing life and investing investing yeah. etc is that you should not put in more than you're willing to lose now that 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 sounds like just a, an investment strategy or a financial thing but i think that's more of a life principle yeah. because if you have a certain amount of finances let's just say i don't know a hundred thousand and somebody shares with you an investment or something that could, oh, it's a surefire thing, or they've done the research, or they're asking you to angel invest, or whatever the case may be. Why would you put all 100000 in it if you've worked hard to save or to somebody blessed you with that money or you've, you've bit by bit acquired it? Well, however you have acquired it, steward it. Um, God always asks us to be good stewards of our finances. And if somebody says, hey, I have a, a great business, and you know, why not, if you have 100,000, why not put 10, why not put 5,000, even 20,000? Well, why would you put the whole thing? See, because here's the, the answer to that question. The spirit of greed, mm -hmm. the spirit of worshiping mammon, mammon, mm -hmm. how do you say it? Mammon. Mammon comes into play because you say, hey, if I could get a 10 times return on a hundred thousand, that's a million dollars. But what if you but what if you get the 10 times return on, t on ten thousand dollars? That's a hundred thousand dollars. That's still mm -hmm. you're still up. You're still excelling. You're still mm -hmm. growing. And most importantly, you have not risked all of your hard work mm -hmm. with like a lottery type mentality. See, that's the mentality that, that, that we see going around. People have a lot of mentality. And it goes the same way with relationships. You know, as, as being in that realm, one of the things that we see people do is that they meet someone, and this person is nice, or this person, you get along with them, and you're smitten, you're head over heels. You're like, ooh la la, look at you. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what we're going to do? I met you two days ago. Let's buy a house together. <laughs> We're not married. Right. I don't know anything about you. Well, let's right. buy a house together. That's that's foolish. That's mm -hmm. that's putting all your your eggs in an unknown basket. How many times have people said, "You know what? I just met you. I don't know anything about you, but you look fantastic. Let's have unprotected sex." My God. Right. And when you do those kind of things. Again, you're putting all your eggs. You're having a lottery mentality. Uh, this is this is the this is the game-winning shot. One goal. 
And sometimes you work hard in your life for your health. You work hard in your life for your finances. You work hard in your life for your peace of mind. Allow things to earn your trust, earn your respect, earn your 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 love for yourself. Um, you know, I, I I see it a lot of times where people do things and and they they say to me they say, well, Lou, you know, you have to be able to put in some risk, or you have to. Um, uh, what, what, what are some of the cliches? Uh, scare money don't make money, and all all these sayings. And while, and while risk is true, like you do need to have some sort of risk in life, but you want to should be calculated. calculated, use yeah. wisdom, discernment, allow the Holy Spirit to, to, to really filter what's going on. Because I think if we, if we all have that mindset of, you know what, let me, let me, let me discern what this is before I go full speed ahead. You know, this person is fantastic. This person is nice. But let me let me discern this person a little bit. Let me let me not put a hundred percent in the first so quickly. Let 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 that person. You know, I just think back about Tracy and myself when we met each other many years ago. You know, we got to know one another in the process of getting to know one another. I really liked her a lot. She really liked me. But we didn't we didn't jump in both feet first the first month we it was a process of getting to know one another it was a process of of learning things because here's the thing time will reveal time will always reveal so what you do you know in the beginning everybody puts their their their, their, their best foot forward whether it's in a, in a job or in a relationship or even in a business you know you, you go into a car dealership and or the, even in a friendship. In a friendship. You know, people, when you meet people first, everybody puts on the, the, you know, the best foot forward and people are all smiles and they're polite and they're things. But give it some time. Let it let it marinate for a while. You know, maybe, maybe a, a six months later, is that person the same way they were when you first met them? You know, uh, was that person, was that investment the same things that they said would happen is it happening six months from now? These are the ways, and, and nothing is foolproof. Sometimes you wait a year and then still things bad things happen, but at least you're going into it with a sober mind. At least you're going into it not uh, 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 being reckless. You know, you're trying to use, but babe, I want you to jump in here and share because you had some important things to share about this. And I, and I think it's important for people to really understand where we're coming from. Yeah, you know, um, one of the things that Lou and I really have been in discussion about is just, uh, like he said, managing your risk, number one, and always making sure that whatever you do, take some time to pray about it, take some time to discern it, um, take some time to ask questions. Um, get to know the people that are involved, whether it's in a friendship, partnership, whether it's in a financial partnership, whether it's in a business deal, whatever it is that you are doing, you should take time to pray and seek the Lord. Now, I'm speaking to Christians. If you're not a Christian, of course, there's other ways that you can, I, I, I can't speak for anybody who's not a Christian but I can speak for men and women who are children of the Most High God. We must be in a position in our life where we start to seek the Lord on things. Ask Holy Spirit to show you, reveal people to, to you, reveal situations to you. Go to the Lord and say, Father, I wanna invest this much money in this opportunity or this business. Give me wisdom, give me knowledge, give me understanding. Ask, seek, knock, and then wait for the Lord to answer you. Wait. Sometimes people like to put pressure and say, well, we got to do it now. This opportunity is only going to be around for the next week. Well, you know what? If that's the case and if you don't have your answer within a week, then you let them know this is probably not for me. 
do don't ever be pressured into anything don't ever be pressured into getting into an investment don't ever be pressured into putting your money into anything and I love what you said babe about not putting in all of it some people have a gamble mentality or a lotto mentality you know or a slot machine mentality let me put it all in and, and hopefully I get 50 million times more than what I put in. You cannot do that. Um, that kind of risk usually brings you devastation. We've seen people being devastated by this because they allow these investors and these opportunities to talk them into putting in more than what they're willing to lose. Never put in more than what you are willing to lose in anything. It, it, and, and I love, I even love what you said. There's some people that meet someone and they're hot with lust and they sleep with the person and it can have a lifetime of ramifications. You go and you sleep with someone, you can get an incurable disease or you go and sleep with someone and they get pregnant. And the next thing you know, you have a lifetime commitment of a child that you did not plan for. And so the bottom line is as adults we must learn to be responsible be responsible ladies and gentlemen think pray ask seek knock before you do things because it can have devastating results now i do remember uh you know just the other day there was online it came out that uh twitch dj twitch actually he apparently invested his life savings in FTX and lost it. So they, they apparently said that that was a part of the issue. I don't really know. I don't like to speak on people's situations that I don't have full facts on, but um, there's lots of people uh, that have lost their life savings on the market. And, and we're not just talking about crypto platforms. We're talking about stocks. We're talking about trading. We're talking about even traditional business. I mean, this is not just, you know, one thing. It's not just just the FDX thing, but there's many people right now whose financial portfolios have dropped severely because of the market. So you need to understand the market. You need to understand investing. We are investors. I do Forex trading. I, I do crypto. I do all of those things. I do stocks. I love those things. I think they are powerful. I think they have the, the, the potential to take you to great heights, but they also have the potential to drop you in, in, in some depths that you did not ever plan for or ever saw coming. So you have to be a wise investor. Learn these things for yourself. Read, get knowledge, get information so that when you get into investing in different areas of your life, you don't shoot yourself in your foot. You want to make sure that you're asking people and, and, and inquiring about things, um, especially when it comes to investing. If that's not a strong area of yours, there is a lot of resources out here. And even if you, you want to take a risk, which is okay in business, no matter what we do in life, everything is a risk, y'all. Seriously. There's nothing that you can say, I 100% guarantee. No, there's no guarantees with business, in life, with people. But what you can do is you can position yourself, prepare yourself in a way that if losses do come, it's, it'll be a little disappointing, but it won't destroy you or break you and your family. And so that's what we wanted to share with you all. Right. So hopefully that blessed you. Hopefully that's something that you can take literally to the bank. Um, and it was on our hearts to share. We just wanted to uh, impart that. Um, and hopefully that that gives you a different perspective in looking at it. Um, with that being said, we love you. God bless you. And we'll see you soon. Take see you all soon. God bless you.